my channel so today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my everyday makeup routine this really glowy bronzy look I've been doing this pretty much every single day for the past three weeks now ever since I got back from my trip I literally went through my makeup and rediscovered some amazing products that for some reason I have totally forgotten about so I have been using those and also I did put in some new products in the mix obviously because I did get new products um and yeah I've been doing this for like three weeks now and I absolutely love it it's just this really nice glowy look that I do every single day except for the eyes I kind of went a little you know I added color to my eyes this time because I really wanted to try out the Juvi palette this palette, by the way, is not out yet. It comes out on April 4th. And yeah, I just really wanted to try it out um, for the first time on camera. And I love it. Like, these colors are so stunning. Perfect for spring and summer. And pretty much all year round because, like, these dark colors right here, you can totally make smoky eyes with them. And it, it, it worked perfectly, you know? So, seriously, this is not just for spring and summer, really. It's, like, for all year round. And I love it. Packaging is perfect. It's, like pure perfection and also towards the end of this video i wanted to do a haul and a giveaway for you guys because this haul is like spring and summer related and i thought it just go perfect with this whole kind of like makeup look that i did because you know this is pretty spring and summery you know it's like really nice and glowy and natural and perfect for every day so anyways i'm blabbing on way too 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 much so let's just get started all right loves so we're gonna go ahead and start off by drinking coffee yes <laughs> i actually filmed this kind of later in the day so i'm eating a sandwich at the same time because it was like almost lunch time and i was super hungry so i have my coffee and sandwiches so the first step here is my primer and i have been loving this one from kevin Aquan. it is kind of like a moisturizer slash primer it is so 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 good it just feels so great on the skin and it just does a great job on like really hydrating my skin so i've been loving that and then i go in with this guy from tatcha it's a pore minimizing water gel and i guess apply that on my nose area pretty much where i have large pores and then i go in with my lancome eye cream and i'm applying quite a bit today because i forgot to apply eye cream the night before so i thought it kind of evens it out right i don't know i love eye creams <laughs> so more coffee here of course and isn't my mug cute it's from starbucks you guys next here i'm applying this guy from by terry it's called imperlius i believe and it's kind of like an illuminizer type of thing i love applying this on my skin just to give me that really nice glow and it's also very hydrating so i like to do this right before i put my foundation on and whatnot and it just looks so good as you can see it's not totally transparent but it's just it's beautiful it blends into your skin very very well and who else does this i have to wipe my hands clean between applications so i go through so many baby wipes <laughs> whenever i'm doing my makeup but that's just me so anyways this is the foundation i have been using it's actually a concealer from kevin aquan it is super full coverage and look at that that's all i have used in the past what like three weeks now a little bit goes a long way but i have to admit i kind of went a little too heavy today i don't know what i was doing but i usually do less than this uh but yeah this stuff is so so good i love it and this brush i'm using is from lancome it's so good i love using it to apply that and to blend everything in i use this guy from real techniques it is the diamond sponge it is honestly my favorite sponge at the moment. See those sponges behind me? I haven't used those in like almost a month because I just love this one so, so, so much. It blends it all in so nicely and just like it looks flawless and it's so much like bouncier and softer than all of my other sponges. I almost said brushes. Um, but yeah, this sponge is so, so, so good. You definitely have to get your hands on this if you haven't yet. Next, my lips are looking a little bit chappy, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of chapstick or lip balm. This is from Dior. It's the lip glow in the color pink. It's one of my favorites. 
And of course, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape for underneath the eyes just to brighten that up a little bit more and to make me look more awake. So yeah, I just apply a little bit and I go in with the same sponge as I used to blend in my foundation. Um, I'm going to set that area with the Studio Pro powder from BH Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite powders ever. It is super inexpensive. I think they're getting rid of it, so it's on sale right now, but I'm not sure. I went ahead and stocked up myself because I love it so much, and it was only like 5 bucks when I bought them. And then I go in with the Anastasia Brow Gel. This is the clear brow gel. And I like to do this before I fill in my brows just so uh, I know where I really have sparse areas, if that makes sense. I feel like this makes my brow hairs um, a little bit uh, darker, so I love it. Um, anyways, going in with the bronzer. This is from Chanel. I have forgotten all about this, and I rediscovered it and have fallen in love again. It was just so good, you guys. Like, it's... I highly recommend it. Uh, it just gives you a very nice natural glow that lasts all day long and this is definitely perfect for summer or if you're going somewhere hot because it is cream, it's going to last all day. So I love this. I do set it just the cheeks area because I always tend to like accidentally touch my cheeks and stuff like that. So I like to set the cheeks area with some powder. So I'm just going in with the Japanese powder in the shade number 4. So that's just going to set that and you know help it stay on longer. And then I go in with my blush and I have been enjoying this blush right here. This is from Dior. It is super super good. The camera is kind of washing it out a little bit but this stuff is very pigmented and totally buildable. And it also really love the packaging except for the fact that it has a brush that I never use so I thought that was kind of pointless but I do love the, the blush a lot like I think it's so good for highlight I have been loving this new highlighter from Jouer it is in the color rose gold this actually comes out on April 4th it's amazing you guys I don't know I love it I'm like obsessed with it um, again it comes out on April 4th so you should definitely be on the website like Turn on your alarms for it and everything because I feel like this is definitely something that will sell out because it is so, so, so good. Like, look at that. Look at that shine. I love it. I literally apply it like ever all over my face. I think it's so good. And then for the brows, I'm just going in with the Benefit Goof Proof in the color number 3. And I'm just applying it on, you know, the sparse areas. Just really lightly filling in my brows. All right, for the eyes, I'm going to be using the new Jouer palette. This also comes out on April 4th. It is the Springtime in Paris Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. It is beautiful, you guys. So I'm first going to apply a petal on the first half of my lids just like that. So the inner part of my lids. And then I'm going to go in with the color True Gold for the outer part. Just like so, just blending it all in together. And then I'm going to apply Camel on the crease area, kind of focusing it on the outer part right there. Just going in windshield wiper motions. And then I'm going to go in with that same color for my lower lash line. To deepen up the crease, I'm going to apply Mauve and also a little bit of, I don't know how to say this, Abergine? I don't know, but um, it's a darker purple color. It's like a purpley brown and it's just beautiful. So I'm just gonna really smoke out the eyes with that. Just applying a little bit, not too much because you know, I'm not going anywhere today, but yeah. And that's pretty much it. For my mascara, I'm using this one from Dior. It is so good and it smells really good. So I've been really enjoying this mascara. It doesn't clump up my lashes and it gives it volume and length. And I guess I love it. I love how it kind of looks fluttery. So I've been enjoying that. On my lips, I'm using this guy from Hourglass. It's in the color Idealist. It is such a beautiful shade. I really love the corally, nudie color. It's so, so, so pretty. All right, guys, so this is the look. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do my hair. And for those wondering, I usually just curl my hair just from the bottom up to here and I use the, let me get it. This is what I use right here. This is the T3 Micro uh, Curling Wand. Uh, I will have the exact name below and link for you guys because when I got this, it came in like a set of three so you can actually change this barrel. And yeah, 
I have the biggest one on right now, but pretty much I just curl my hair like normal. I'm pretty sure you guys, I did a video on it before, I think, but I still do get questions about it. So I'll show you a little bit. I'm not going to show you like how I do my whole hair because it's very repetitive. But um, this is what my hair looks like naturally. It's just straight. I do have a lot of hair, so I do have to do it in sections. And... My brush right now is the crappy one that I got. I don't even know where to get this. I got this from Italy last year at a dollar store. So it was only one euro. And I remembered I had to buy it because I forgot to pack a hairbrush on my trip. The only hairbrush I had was like the super tiny one that I keep in my purse. And it was just not cutting it obviously. So. I had to get this one. I mean, it's not crappy, but, you know, it's not the best either, but I still use it. It's still here. So, anyways, I do break my hair up in sections, usually in half like this, and then I like to do half of this side like this, and I just clip this away, and I'm going to show you how I curl just this part of my hair because you know I do the same thing on the other side obviously so I just grab quite a bit of hair like this much I don't even know if that's a lot sometimes I go thicker and I like to put the curling iron behind me so the curl wraps this way if that makes sense I don't know am I making sense you guys so you curl away from your face if that makes sense right this is away from your face Okay, ugh. So, and then I just leave it on as you see for a few seconds and continue on. Just like that. Can you see the steam coming out of it? This thing gets super, super hot. And as you can see, it curls it really well. Again, I don't leave it on for too long. I love this curling iron. It gets rid of all frizzes. My curls stay on. And it's just, this curling iron is like my favorite. And it's also dual voltage. So if you like to travel like I do, you can use it anywhere. Like I've used this in the Philippines, uh, all over Europe, also in Hong Kong. Mexico <laughs> so really it's it's fantastic um, anyways I guess I'm kind of showing you this side of my hair because I'm still going but yeah that is how I curl my hair you guys it's super easy I just like let it down and you know I don't brush through it right away I let it sit there for a while until it's cool and then I brush through it. Alright you guys, so this is what the curls looks like afterwards and it's cooled down. I haven't, you know, brushed it out. So it's cooled down already as you can see. It's, you know, some parts are pretty tight. We don't want that. Well, I mean, if you like that, go ahead. But I'm going to go in with my brush and just lightly brush through this. And sometimes I like to do strand by strand if I want like that strand to stay, you know, curl on their own like that. I like to kind of separate the strands. So then I do still kind of have those tight curls, but I do like to brush them out like that. I think it just looks so better and like a lot fluffier compared to this over here, if that makes sense. I guess like it better. Anyways, that is it for hair and makeup. I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet, but I will definitely show you guys. I have a funny story to tell you guys. Do you guys like this new rug? It's pretty, but it's supposed to be a dusty rose color. That is not dusty rose, that is legit pink. Please let me know if that is legit pink because to me, it's legit pink. <laughs> but I mean, it's cute. So it's different now. I did reorder something else. But yeah, this is supposed to be a dusty rose color from Guilt. Thankfully, their customer service is amazing. So I got a refund and they said I can keep the rug. So that was very nice of them. But this is not dusty rose, you guys. No, it's not. Kind of disappointed, but it's cute for now. 
anyways, this is my outfit. Just something casual for today. This top is from Adormi and it's supposed to be a, you know, pajama top, but I'm wearing it for today. And my jeans are from Target. They're the Mosimo or something like that. They're super comfy, high-waisted. Um, yeah, and I'm just wearing my sneakers. These are Adidas. I'll link it below, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> And we have little Mia here. She's been watching me the whole time. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so, so, so cute. So anyways, like I said in the beginning of this video, I wanted to do a haul and it is actually my Adore Me picks for the month. And yes, I will be doing a giveaway as well for you guys. So all the details on that will be in the description box down below. It is open internationally, so definitely check it out. If you've been watching me for a while now, you know I love Adore Me and I always get like my undergarments from there, my workout clothes, swimsuits, and just like sleepwear and stuff like that. So. I can't wait to show you guys my picks from this month. Everything is super, super, super cute. So let's get into it. All right, you guys. So the first thing is this right here. Look how adorable this bikini bottom is. It has some frills right there. And to go with that, I got this top. And it also has some frills, like little ruffles on the sleeves. It's kind of hard to see what these will look like on. So I will go ahead and insert a photo right over here. But how adorable is this, right? I love the colors and I like how it's not too revealing too. So that's kind of why I picked that out. I like that a lot. I also got this bikini set. I love the color on this. I love pink and black. And I really love the back with the detail right there. And to match that, I got this bikini bottom with little slits right here as well on the sides. Ugh, I think this is going to be so cute on. I also got this pair right here. Like, how beautiful is this pattern? So this has a little bit of a padding. Not a whole lot, but I like it. And I really like this because it is high-waisted. How pretty is that? And it zips in the back, so... Yay! Last thing that I got that is beach related is this beautiful, beautiful lace top. And I'm actually planning on just wearing this as even a dress because you can just wear a black slip underneath and it could be a normal dress for summer. It is so pretty. I love the sleeves on this. You can even tuck this into skirts or pants and wear it as a top if you want. So I thought this was a really nice piece. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for this. And the last thing, I love their workout clothes, so I had to buy some. Um, I have a few sets already from them, and they're just like my favorite workout clothes. And yeah, I had to get a new pair because they came out with really cute ones. So what I love about them as well is that you get the top and bottom, so it like perfectly matches, you know. So this is the top that goes with this. It's really nice. It does have some detailing, which is really pretty. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there is some detailing right there. And it crisscrosses in the back. And I got this. I always get my sports bras in a size small, so it's not too tight. Um, and then for my bottoms, I always get it in extra small, and they fit perfectly. And I love this pattern. It's so beautiful. And this is my favorite part, is that it has like that mesh detailing right there it's so so pretty oh my gosh i can't wait to work out like their clothes makes me want to work out because i want to wear them and i want to see how it performs and with like sweat and stuff if, i know that sounds gross but you know i want to see how it wears and stuff so anyways that is everything that i got from Adormi. i'm so excited for my pieces let me know what you guys think again i'm doing a giveaway so if you want your very own adore me piece definitely check out the info box down below and that wraps up this video you guys i really hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't and thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in my next video bye